Okay, guard update. We are back in the schedule. Doing the updates. Pretty good. Nice looking pump in there. KB1 there. I picked two already yesterday. We have two that have been picked finally. A little bit later, like a couple weeks later, normal. You know, normally pick a mid June. So we have all these tomatoes. We just saw it before, before I picked like at least 12 of them. We still have so many. They're all coming at once. Instead of all coming like throughout July and August, they all came at one time. Put the squeeze back here. This is another pumpkin there. That one there. They all, they all, there's so much weight they all fell over. So the cluster back there. They're doing really good. So much weight they're all falling over. Okay, yeah, these these plants didn't make it. Time was gone. I guess because the year got too cold, or so there wasn't anything left in the soil. Picked onions, so they're gone. We picked a ton of pe peppers. We picked at least eight peppers. Peppers didn't really get compared to last year. Grapes were not getting anything this year from the grapes. Sucks are doing good, except that one right there. If you watch my other video, it might have to go to the vet or something because it's not. It's not improving the way it should be, and it could definitely be a very serious thing if it starts getting clogged up. So I guess we'll find out what's going to happen next couple days. It is still in isolation in the shed, um, but it came out to eat. It's been a little bit of time, so it's not lonely. Blackberry's doing good. Well, I, the funny thing is, on this one, there's a bug on it. We have. Uh, yellow raspberries finally gave fruit, which I didn't think they're going to next year. But it's still late, it's already August, and okay, they're currently thinking like it's June, it's all confused. So, yeah, we're actually gonna have yellow raspberries, surprisingly. That's pretty much the only thing left because all the other rasp the raspberry plants are done, blueberries are done. So, snapdragons look good. We had a lot of um, strawberries, which I picked. We have a lot more too. See, like everything's coming at once. Yeah, you could probably pick that one soon. Everything's coming at one time, it seems like. There's some air plants with some good there. Peach trees finally bit the dust. It is officially fully dead. We're gonna be cutting it down in the next couple days. So, here's the other tomato plant. We'll be probably to pick this one real soon. Um, these ones, I don't know. The problem every year we had a couple good years, and I don't know what happened. You see, we only get really, really small, small cantaloupe. I don't even see any watermelon. There's a cantaloupe right there. I don't know. We had a couple good years, and then it just stopped. We had one, at one point we had a 15-pound watermelon. So I don't know. It's definitely possible, but I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I've been tough the last couple years. Blueberries are from they're done. They're starting to, return, starting to turn colors because the way our days been here have been so cold, it feels like fall. It feels like more like September, October. So at least it's starting to change. This net, I got to take this net down eventually. There's no point even having it up. I started taking it down, but and I stopped. This doesn't blow away. So this is uh, the garden update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and any questions in the comment section below. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a chicken and duck update, and I'll continue you guys update you guys on the the kind of sick duck. So keep you guys informed, and then Wednesday will be a tropical plant update. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.